also the classic scene to, to write. So what we learn from our friends in Edinburgh, so this so they have a problem in recognizing faces, that's what we know. So hence they are a close of your face. They are worse than controlled in various kinds of visual memory challenges which have nothing to do with faces, but they are not memory challenged per se, which is one, one example, there is no, there is an example, there is just one such, okay? So basically that's the, that's the long and short of it. So what does that leave us? It leaves us of really looking at Proust of technology and this whole class of things uh, as whether it's a you know generalized visual memory problem, you know, visual memory problem where you kind of construct uh, memories out of the various things that you basically don't have enough of an image to make what is you know a real recognition kind of a process. So in a way this uh, has important things to uh, inform in terms of face specificity of certain issues, modularity as it comes to not face recognition per se, but as at least insofar as Prosopic technology of this kind is concerned. Uh, we have various other words which uh, look at you know, emotion recognition and uh, gender recognition. This is, this is unpublished, this is published, what I'm talking about. Uh, Prosopic technologies are fine in uh, kind of gender recognition, emotion, they are fine, you know, age, in fact, we have done these very slight age differences with uh, the unreal faces, not AI faces, you know, we that they, they seem to be doing fine, which also means that their problem, whatever it is, it's kind of, uh, you know, various processes are conserved also, so not every attribute you could use in your model various parts of their actually conserved. So this is the long and short of it, and also because we're in a face and personality and perception community, uh, we have lots of subjects, okay? So also, uh, putting it out there, collaborations of various kinds, uh, wherever in Asia and Australia, uh, Australia, Asia, Europe, around, okay? Because of this conference, the fact that our Facebook community, so let's talk. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Okay, I've got time for one question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry to interrupt. I uh, have a question. Did you think, or did you ask, the course of time, if you have difficulty finding your bag, your bag, your own bag, one video of the movie? No. The answer is no. And uh, we sort of mimicked. We, we didn't mimic that actually. We mimicked a much harder version. And that's the problem of these tests, typically, is that they are too easy. If you give it too easy, you're going to hurdle it right there, you know, walk over it, and say, okay, you're fine. So the, 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 the interesting part about this study was it really put up the challenge at a very kind of uh, measured uh, space where these. Differences between controls and close technology at least start to start to show. Uh, so you know, in, a, in some way, faces are where this is actually relevant in real life, and hence the problem that exposed us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.